Assalamu alaikum. Did you know that the word galaxy came from the Greek word for milk, gala? The ancient Greeks thought the Milky Way was formed from spilt milk from the mythical goddess Hera when she suckled the baby Hercules. There are so many interesting stories behind naming some objects in our universe. Today, we bring you the story of Turkish astrophysicist Burçin Mutlupakti, who has a whole galaxy named after her. Burçin was born and raised in Istanbul, the capital of Turkey, where she pursued passions and hobbies. As a child, she loved the night sky and enjoyed looking up at the stars. Her passion for astrophysics bloomed in middle school when she had a task to prepare on an interesting person. Burçin recalls the day and says, I asked my sister for suggestions on who I could choose for my assignment, and she suggested Einstein, because he's the cleverest man in the world. Burçin was intrigued by the mysteries of the universe and obsessed with learning about the cosmos. But to pursue astrophysics, she would have to leave Istanbul and move to the city of Ankara. She came from a conservative background where girls did not leave their homes unless they were married off, let alone attend college. Even though my family supported my decision and encouraged me to follow my passion, friends and relatives said that girls should not leave home to study. Even a professor at my college questioned my decision to move cities and study science. Despite the hurdles, Burchin became the first generation in her family to attend college. As you can imagine, there were very few female students in her class. Part of the reason was that Muslim women in Turkey at the time did not have the liberty to wear the hijab while studying in university. As a woman studying physics, I felt like an outsider. I wore hats and looked for ways to cover my head, but it was disconcerting. I was already battling the prejudices of being a woman studying science, and by forcing me to alter my attire, I was being compelled to be someone I was not, Sister Burçin says. She completed her undergraduate studies in Turkey and came to the United States to attend Texas Tech University for her master's degree, and later joined the University of Minnesota Twin Cities for her PhD in astrophysics. Moving to the U.S. from Turkey gave her a huge culture shock, but to her surprise, it made her happy. She says, I was in a new country and many things were different, but since I was myself and I could dress as I pleased, I felt happier, even though there were other issues to sort out. After completing her PhD, she was appointed as a research associate at the University of Arizona Stewart Observatory, where her job was to analyze the collection of telescopic data and understand the evolution of galaxies. Science has come a long way since man learned how to read and write, and today there are solid proven theories on the formation of common galaxies. However, for astronomers, rare galaxies are their interest in particular. One such rare galaxy was discovered in 1950 by Arthur Allen Hogue, who noticed a type of ring galaxy where a bright ring of young blue stars orbited symmetrically around a central body of older stars, but had no visible connection between them. Can you believe it? This galaxy came to be known as Hogue's object, and it is extremely rare. There is only one in every 1,000 galaxies. Now, imagine how excited Burchin and her team would have been to discover a little galaxy that was very similar to Hogue's object. Upon studying the galaxy further, Burchin was absolutely shell-shocked to learn this galaxy was even rarer than Hogue's object and possibly never discovered. She explains the astounding discovery and says, In between the blue outer ring and the red central core, we found a diffused red-colored inner ring surrounding the central body. We were looking at a galaxy that had never been seen before. Though it was cataloged as PGC 1000714, it was given the common name Burçin's Galaxy, after the Turkish astrophysicist Burçin Mutlupakti. In 2018, Burçin was selected as a TED Fellow and invited to speak on the esteemed TED stage. She was one of just 20 of the changemakers invited from around the world. She says, The platform gave me a voice and a presence I had never imagined for myself. Most of us live common lives, and some of us get to create a name for themselves in the world. But Burchin, she has driven change among the universe. May Allah bless her with his best bounties.